We are building the walls for the school bus. I say we, but it's really this guy. <laughs> We're gonna start a business, building schoolies. All right, so it's really late, which is why it's super dark, but we just put in our first wall and we got six more we're doing. That's part of the vlogging experience. Vlogger failures. Probably one more, but you got it. Well, I tasted sweetness when I was thirsty. The warm summer rain on my window pane is light. Falling from the sky. And I felt your hand. I'm back at Menard, had to buy more lumber. So this time I'm buying 60, hoping I don't have to come back because it's like a half an hour drive. A full day of putting up walls and then insulation in the walls. And hopefully I can get that all finished today. We have a bunch of people coming over to sand the bus, like a bunch of friends. So that's gonna be a fun day. We have helpers today sanding down the bus. Look at them go, look at them go. All right, we are putting in the last of the framing. So we did all the framing around the ends. Look at it. It's beautiful all the way around. So now he's got to add insulation into each one of them. But this is the very last one. And it's too long. I can't. I'm like, I'm about to have three cats. I don't want four. Look at that progress. All done. Just kidding. We only did this part because it's supposed to start storming soon and I didn't want to get started on another part of the paint and then have to like stop it in the middle of it. So go to the back and then that's as far as the light stuff goes. Yeah. But, but the bottom looks so good. All the fake chrome. I am back here at Menards and I'm buying some more insulation for the windows because we decided to block off some windows for insulation purposes uh, and we weren't using some of them. So it worked out really great. I'm um, starting the plumbing today, so I'm buying all the materials. He's like, nope, dad took the camera out, no pictures. I'm working on plumbing today. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but, so I got this in the mail. So this is gonna go through the bus and then I had to buy this adapter to plug in my my PEX pipe. So from there, I'm gonna be cutting this, putting on one of these, of these elbow bits, and then putting another PEX pipe in here and going all the way down the bus into that water tank. Here goes nothing, but before I start drilling holes in the side of the bus and things like that, I wanna make sure everything fits and works and is good. I had to go to the store to get all these different um, different fixtures and stuff because nothing would fit onto this tiny. I say tiny, but it's actually this big hole right here. Nothing would go in here. So I had to get a hose that can go over top of it. So this is the hose, I'm using a radiator hose because it was the best option I could think of. And it goes over top of that. So I clamped it on, which was pretty cool. Then this screws into this. And then I had to get this thing as well that I'm gonna glue and then shove in there fully. I just don't wanna do it now so I'm not gonna be able to get it out. And then this tube goes to this fixture and this fixture um, is where I start putting in my my uh, PEX pipe that will go all to all the sinks. Here goes nothing. 
So this is what we got so far. All clamped and ready to go to our PEX pipe. So same thing with here. This is for our fill tank. I had to buy this little, these little adapters. Adapter, 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 adapter into our PEX pipe. I've been using this glue to kind of make a little extra sealant. 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 Word. Around. In order to make the hole bigger, we're making a couple of like a small hole next to the big one, and then we're just gonna seal it up really well when we put this thing in there. So here's our mattress. Fun story. It came the day after we ordered it, which was unexpected, and we found out something interesting. So when you order a memory foam mattress from Amazon and it comes to your doorstep, apparently you need to open it within 72 hours upon receipt of said mattress. I didn't know that because I didn't remember reading that online. So we don't really have a place for it. We can't put it on a bed. We don't have a bed frame because we have to do our plumbing and electric before we can build our bed. Cause we have to put our floors down before we build our bed. So we found a spot in my sister's room where it's basically just going to stand up against the wall until we're ready for it. And right now it's just inflating in the living room. All right, I got our water water thing in there. It's got to drill them in now. And this is what it looks like on the other side. And then through this. So there you have it. Do it Shane. <laughs> Look what he did. He did his own by himself. This is where our water goes in. Oh, I broke it. No, you didn't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was like, I give up. <laughs> we bought some stuff today. We found the craziest deal on peel and stick vinyl flooring planks. $20 a box. So we got all the flooring for our bus for $100, which is crazy because we were about to spend probably four to 500 on all of it. Nope, not today. Not to we are laying down the flooring in the walls, uh, not where the electric is gonna go, but just right you know, in this here, so that we can start building out our bed. Um, Cause I'm still waiting for some friends to help with the electric and plumbing. My mom's here. Tony's here. They're here to help with the bus. Let's go do this thing. Look at this, our home. Look at that. Look at that junk. Junk. Good junk. Guys, look at our bed. There's storage underneath here. This right here is going to be accessible from the shower. This is where we'll keep our, sh our shampoo. This is gonna be like for our clothes under here. This is where our big king size mattress is going. What do you think, Sawyer? <laughs> Clayton has finished the bed. Look at that. I love it. So we've been all over the place today. Um, we went to look at tires. It's going to be $2,179 for all new tires. That's a lot of money. Uh, and then when we got a new battery for just under 200 bucks, woo, look how shiny it is. Our connectors were like burnt out and like broken and trash. So we bought new ones. We're gonna put them on right now. Here we go. All right, we did it. Brand new, brand new battery, brand new connectors. And now we're gonna see if the bus turns on. Moment of truth. Yay! <laughs> oh yeah!